my view on this is I absolutely, I'm all over it as a mother. Um, now, you're a mother of four, we should mother point Mother of out, four, so I have three teenagers. And your, your, your kids' ages are, are more or less the same, ranging from seven through to, to yeah. 20 for both of you, right. I have an 18-year-old, 16-year-old, 14-year-old. The 18-year-old was absolutely pathological, pathologically private. She wouldn't, mm. you know, it was so difficult to get into her phone. And she went completely off the rails as a teenager, and I felt that her entire life was happening on this little kind of rectangular device, which, by the way, I was paying for. So my view on this is you don't have a right to that level of privacy when I'm paying for your phone. Um, I have a right to know what's going on on it, because that is a portal to this kind of whole digital world which we have absolutely no control over. Um, and so since that, with my younger two teenagers, I go into their phones, they know I do it. I was going to say, do they know? So you're not well, doing this, you're not snooping? Or they change their passwords, but um, I actually got my 16-year-old daughter to show me how to put a thumbprint on my 14-year-old son's mobile. So even though he changes his password so I can't access his phone, after he's gone to bed, I go into it and I look at stuff. And sometimes I'm actually utterly horrified. I was going to say, have you found anything yeah, I have. that's I've, justified I've... your, your snooping? Loads of things, because teenagers are programmed to keep things from their parents. I mean, we didn't tell our parents stuff when we Good were growing reason. up. Yeah. Well, exactly, yes, but I think this is so dangerous now, the world that we're living in with, with our teenagers, because the phone, this is... It's not just like looking at a teenager's diary. I would never do that. That is an expression of their private thoughts. I'm not talking about that, but this is an access to chat rooms... But it's the same thing, isn't it, really? No, it's Because you're still prying into all. what they're doing in their lives. If, you, if your teenager said, you know, say 20 years ago that they were going out, somewhere, you would want to know where they were going, you would want to know who they were going with, you would want to know what time they were going to get okay, back. Is that yeah. an invasion the of their privacy? Okay. No, it's checking that they're safe. <laughs> That's shown as um, Lucy's uh, shaking approach her head. to all <laughs> of that. <laughs> so, Lucy, what about you? What's uh, your approach? OK, where does it I differ? feel completely differently about that because I feel teenagers have a right to their privacy because actually what teenagers really need is some sense of autonomy and responsibility and that they're trusted by their parents. If I keep going onto their devices and I don't know their passwords and I don't ask them for their passwords and I think I think it's their own <laughs> private world where they get to express what they want to express. And if I'm constantly on it, what I'm really saying to them is, I don't trust you, I haven't brought you up very well. You know, I, I brought my kids up to kind of know this is what you do, these are safeguarding What issues. about the dangers, though, Lucia? I, I get what you're saying, you know, you trust them, but I do have you to trust, trust them. other people? I mean, the NSPCC have released mm. uh, figures today and saying that grooming of children on the internet yeah. is on the rise, up by 44%. Yeah. And at 44%. Of course, that, that's very wise. So it's other people that you can't trust. Yes, Surely our jobs as parents is to say, look, I know you want to be private and, you know... And they have a right to uh, be But private. I'm in charge of to... keeping you safe. Yes, of course they know I'm in charge of keeping them safe. So I give them the ability to communicate with me. Teenagers do want to communicate. They just don't want to communicate in the way that we communicate. If you want to be invited into their world, you've got to let them have some space to invite you. isn't that you like handing you... them control, saying, you know, you know better than me? Where no, of course actually it's I not. Of course it's not. I've told adult. my children exactly what to look out for. Schools are totally on it. They are constantly telling them about internet security. If I see that my children are acting in a way that is unusual and I'm not sure what they're up to, mm. of course I'm going to ask okay. them. You and I'm going to sit look? them down and talk. Would you I'm going to ask them point? if it's OK to look. But, but you know, the whole thing about being a teenager is you've got to push against your parents. You've got to go and do your own thing. I did all sorts of stuff. Okay, I see. really wouldn't well, like my mother. So you're, you're, you're agreeing with the studies. You're agreeing with the studies which says that the parents who do otherwise are overreacting. How do you respond to the accusation? I just, I just think it's you're sticking your head in the ground, actually, because I, I, I've seen things well, my online. Children have, my children are absolutely I, I fine. I trust my children. Genuinely. I trust my children. We have open communication. They tell me lots of things. So why do you need to go and snoop on them, then, it's, if they it's tell not, you stuff? It's not just them. There's so many different layers of things that could go wrong on that, on that phone, like bullying, online bullying, for instance. I've yes. seen... Th I've seen the sort of pressure that my daughter's been under with from social media. You know, if she doesn't get 170 likes on a photograph that she's taken of herself, she feels fat. Well, wouldn't it be easier just to take the phone away, But why do you need to go then? on the phone to No, you see, it? I don't want to raise Luddites away. either. You know, our children yes, are growing up in a digital yeah. technological yeah, world, and I think it. that's the equivalent of locking them in their bedroom 20 years ago. I don't want to do that either, and I think parents are in a really tricky position nowadays. You know, I don't want my 18-year-old leaving and not knowing how to behave online, but at the same time, I don't... 
trust my teenagers 100%. And I think any mother that says they do is naive. How do you it's find the balance, really Lucy? How do you I find, find the, balance? the balance? I understand that thing about likes, and I think it's very difficult for girls, and there is a, a, a too long to go into the difference between mm. boys and girls. But actually, the balance is, you're not just about the likes. You know, here's your self-esteem. This is what you do. And also, it's about our fear. It's our fear of this sort of nebulous world that we don't understand, that they understand so much better than we do. If I actually went to my son's friend, I probably wouldn't even understand actually a word of it. They communicate in a completely different way. People, and they have their own moral values on it. I've come across things on, on my trip where they've been chatting with people that they don't know. Well, and, I don't want to come across that. Do you need to know to, that? Absolutely, How? you need to Why know that to, to keep that? them safe. You but need they are to know safe. Who, they're able to keep themselves safe. You need to know who safe. they're communicating there is, with. There, there is that old saying, isn't it? Be careful of looking through keyholes because you yes, might be, like... Yes, be careful what well, you might find on the other side. But as a parent, I like to know exactly what's going on. And I just think that if you don't, you're exposing your children to danger.